Head is. Well, they're on. Don't mind my little temporary spark plug boot. I'm gonna get some of those fancy ones that uh, go on, but that one just got a little too close for comfort. So I just some metal tape on there. I like to uh, coat both sides of the gasket with that nice copper uh, gasket maker, silicone, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've always got good luck doing it, and uh, I don't like taking headers on and off, so I do that. Um, after I run it and it warms up a lot, I uh, take it for a ride and I go back and Retighten those bolts a few times because I, I just I hate exhaust leaks more than you can imagine Boy do I love my trusty Lincoln electric one of the best things I ever bought So basically I'm just using what was on there these middle pipes here because they have this nice little bend that goes over you know goes under the cross member Ooh, look at that so I'm taking advantage and it's nice to be able to weld on as much as I can which I think is going to be almost the whole exhaust I'm going to try to weld it all on the bench so that you know it's a lot easier to weld something when you're standing up and uh, you know you got the the welder uh, right in your hand and you know you're not laying upside down under the truck that's a little bit of a pain but sometimes you got to do it um, also the the welder at least mine it doesn't really you know it, it doesn't weld as good when you when you're welding upside down but not really sure why that is but it's always been like that anyway you know there was some weak points where this exhaust was sort of clamped together by the previous you know person that put it together I mean it's probably just a kit you know a universal kit that you buy um, but I mean it's you know a little surface rust but I mean for the most part it's pretty solid um, there was a clamp here and I knocked it off and welded that but I'm actually it's got this little bend here because um, you know it had full tailpipes before and uh, now I've kinda got a new plan I'm gonna actually cut that off, get rid of that bent piece there. And I have this, uh, see with these two pieces up there, they're both identically the same. They're both gonna bolt right to the collector and uh, both the same length, cause you know, you, you kinda want them the same length too. So, we're gonna need another, you know, another foot of pipe you can kind of see where that's lined up because I want it to dump you know as far back as I can right at the rear end and uh, I'm gonna need another foot on each side so I found this uh, I have lots of pipe in stock I have some really big um, real big like almost four inch pipe and I have three inch stuff like that I just accumulated and uh, this is like I don't think this was meant to be exhaust pipe I mean that's pretty thick um, man focus uh, 
So we're going to use this and um, we're going to make a couple of shotgun blasts coming right off there. And uh, these, you know, of course I'll have to, uh, going from that size, which I think is like two and a half or two and a quarter or something to that. There's a little bit of a gap, but we can fill that in. We got what it takes. But then, you could see that almost fits right in there. So that's going to be nice. And then these will be dumping right off. And then I'll get one thing I got to actually buy that I don't have is I want a couple of nice turn downs. Because I've learned it does make a difference. And uh, we'll see what that's like. But. I had to, uh, of course, when you when you go from manifolds to headers, you you got to watch out because uh, most of the time you got to come down here, take a look at where your starter wires are, because a lot of the times uh, you'll have something touching, and uh, you don't want that because that's going to create big problems once you go down the road. So. Fortunately, this had a, I don't know if you can see it, had like a little metal tube that the wires go through and it was just kind of hanging out over here so I moved it and uh, tied it in with a thousand zip ties. I had to move one wire, I think this wire right here, I think it's for the uh, sending unit for the gas, you know, fuel gauge, whatever. Um, so, that was like wrapped around, you know, the header over here once I came down here. So, I just cut it and then rerouted it and uh, connected it back together, tied it up out of the way. So, you know, you got to start it with open headers. I mean, who doesn't do that? You're not even a human if you don't do that. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. Oh, yeah.
tell me what I can and cannot do. You're not the boss of me. Still trying to get rid of these damn things. Getting down there. I have one every day. Call me the gap filler on the weekends. You know what I mean? I'm out of time.